how does the visa procedure for students work in Japan? Today's video, we are going to cover exactly that. I am Vicky Singh, your admissions counselor for Japanese universities. So in today's video, we are going to know what are the documents and the usual procedure that is followed to receive the Japan uh, student visa. So alright, so let's start with the visa requirements. You know, the most important uh, requirement for visa is that you have to be uh, 18 years old if you are applying for an undergraduate degree or 18 years by the time you are supposed to join the university, right? So uh, this is one of the requirements. So age criteria being very important. There can be an upper limit to the application. So you will have to check uh, to the university or the institute whenever you are applying if there is a gap. Uh, on the age limit, so uh, you, you should check that. I must tell you that in Japan, a language school and university diploma program, all of these are very different in nature from each other and the requirements can be very specific to that category. I will give you an example. So if you are planning to pursue a diploma, so in that case, of course, your uh, diploma, if it is going to be in Japanese, the visa procedure Throughout that process, you might have to focus more on your language capability. You have to provide evidence. They can be an interview uh, where you will be interviewed specifically in Japanese to see whether or not you match the certificates that you have provided. Uh, so, Japanese proficiency plays an important role if you are applying for certain programs like diploma or language school. But in other cases, for university degree, of course, your academic background is way more important. And then documents for academics will be, uh, you know, the main uh, criteria and they will be more focused on those. So now look, let's look at the documentation process. So for the documentation, you will need a proof of financial stability. This is very important. So whenever you are going abroad, it can be for tourist visa or any other purpose, you know, it is important to prove that you have financially, uh, you are stable and you can afford that trip that you are planning. Similarly, in this case, you can afford the, uh, the program that you have applied for. So they will see, um, the immigration will definitely see whether your funds are enough and your, uh, you know, do you have enough bank balance to support yourself throughout the term of your course. So this is being one. Second is the documents of the sponsor, right? So the sponsor can't be your friend. You, it can't be a very distant relative. In most cases, it is advisable to have a family or uh, you know very close relative as your sponsor. And in that case, also you will need to provide a very detailed documentation of their financial health. Our second document, uh, which is very important, is the proof of relationship. As much as it is the proof of your financial stability, uh, your documentation to prove that relationship is also important. Right. So um, yeah. Next uh, up is your language proficiency. So as I said, if you are going to pursue a course in Japanese language or you are going to pursue a course which is uh, which the medium of instructions is Japanese, in that case the proficiency is very very important. Uh, in case of English courses, I personally don't think they put so much uh, focus on that. Third category of documents is the academic documents. So your transcripts, your mark sheets from school, colleges they also need to be verified and attached when you apply to visa and this should be organized properly and uh, they should be genuine of course only if all these documents are in line and perfect uh, you will receive your certificate of eligibility this certificate of eligibility based on which you can apply for the student visa no coe no visa so all these documents have to be very carefully gathered and examined and you definitely need guidance if you are planning to do it on your own. So uh, at Education Japan we help you with all the guidance that you require. So in case you need that kind of assistance, please feel free to reach out to us. So just final tips, uh, most of the reasons why um, you know the, the, the applications are rejected usually for COE are lack of documents, you know, so discrepancy in documents, so in one document the name is different and the other document uh, the name is different, 
or uh, if they are not able to verify any of the things that we just spoke about, your financial stability or your academic performance, any of that, if they think there is a mismatch, uh, that, that is trouble. And uh, uh, so these are, you know, the usual reasons for rejections. So final tips for me, just stay organized. So, you know, make a list of documents, keep all documents in order, have a specialist look through them. Start early, right? It always uh, my number one tip to all students: we start early, don't delay, because um, visa processing, especially for student visa in Japan, is very time-taking process. It can take anything between. On an average, it takes about two to three months to get your visa in your hand. I mean, including the time that COE takes, right? And also, uh, you know. Uh, do your research well in advance. So these are some of the tips I would like to share. I hope uh, this information was useful to you. And if you like this content, if you like this channel, please do subscribe and uh, 